Dogg is officially gone from hip-hop icon to hip-hop mogul. This week, the rapper purchased Death Row Records, the record label that actually launched his career. Chuck Krickmer is co-founder of AllHipHop.com. I felt like it was the ultimate boss move, uh, particularly for an artist, you know, someone who's traditionally known as an artist. But we know Snoop has grown so much since his 1993 debut, Doggy Style. Death Row is the label that the label was founded in 1992 by Suge Knight and Dr. Dre, among others. It would be Dre's critically acclaimed album, The Chronic, released that same year that put Death Row on the music industry map, introducing the world to the sights and sounds of South L.A., which Creeper says may be its greatest legacy. The low riders and the streets of South Central California, and all of that was really injected into the music. There was even a bit of a political side, you know, remember the L.A. riots and all this strife was going on in the streets. So they captured a lot of that in the music. Snoop Dogg's debut release in 1993 continued a string of successes that included luring Tupac Shakur away from the East Coast, which some say further fueled the East Coast-West Coast feud. The label hit Suge Knight's brushes with the law and subsequent prison sentence contributed to Death Row's demise, which includes it filing for bankruptcy. What Snoop Dogg paid for Death Row remains unknown, but the unreleased material on Shakur, Dre, and Snoop himself is believed to be worth a gold mine, as Snoop vows to make Death Row relevant once more. There's a lot more to consider right now. He, he might have to do TikTok or dance or something and, or, or, you know, figure out a way to promote the label through social media. Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.